Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of the centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English and Chinese with subtitles in Arabic, Horasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Salam sejahtera, penonton-penonton yang berharga. Nama saya Han Chien dari Sarawak di Malaysia yang progresif. Malaysia memang sebuah negara indah yang dikuniai dengan pelbagai bukit dan gunung yang ditemui hutan tebal, bentangan pantai yang dipinggiri pokok pama cahaya matahari keemasan dan ragun air tawar. Tarikan utamanya ialah kontrasnya yang besar dari pencakar langit yang tinggi dapat dilihat rumah papang yang dibina di atas kaki bajang. Budaya mazmut keajaiban alam semula jadi Bandar raya besar dan banyak pulau yang indah permai. Semuanya sebahagian daripada syurga di bumi ini. Kepelbagaian budaya juga telah menjadikan negara ini tempat meraihkan beratus-ratus perayaan yang beraneka ragam. Warisan mauti budaya dan mauti bangsa Malaysia sangat jelas dipamilkan melalui bentuk muzik dan tariannya yang pelbagai. Kami berbesar hati untuk berkenalkan kepada anda, Malaysia yang makmun. Semoga anda dilimpahi rahmat Tuhan. Selama tiga dekat, Maha Guru Ching Hai menerangi dunia kita dengan ajaran sucinya. Sebagai guru bermarifat penuh, beliau mengajarkan kaedah meditasi Kuang Yin pada mereka yang ingin dengan serta-merta menemui sifat Tuhan dalam diri mereka dan dalam masa satu hayat mendapat pembebasan abadi daripada kitaran lahir dan mati. Kaedah Kuang Yin telah diamalkan oleh semua guru bermarifat seperti Buddha, Nabi Isa, Nabi Muhammad. Moga-moga Tuhan memberi kesejahteraan ke atasnya dan guru nanak. Beliau menekankan bahawa jika kita sentiasa ingat akan Tuhan, berbakti kepada orang lain dan mematuhi hukum alam semesta, kita akan mencapai potensi tertinggi sebagai manusia dan benar-benar memahami tujuan kita di bumi. Maha Guru Ching Hai ialah suri teradang beras kasihan, sering memberikan bantuan kebendaan dan kewangan serta kasih sayang kepada pelarian, orang tak berumah, mansa bencana alam, 
dan orang lain yang memerlukan bantuan. Pada tahun 2006, beliau menerima hadiah keamanan Gusi yang dianggap sebagai hadiah keamanan Nobel Timur dan telah diberi penghormatan dalam tahun-tahun ini dengan banyak anugerah dan hadiah lain atas kerja amal dan bantuan kemanusiaannya yang menonjol. Sebagai suara sejati bagi rakan haiwan kita yang menawan, beliau mempromosikan diet berasaskan tumbuhan yang damai dan penyayang. Beliau menghasratkan dengan kesedaran manusia tentang kesucian semua hidupan, sebuah dunia vegan yang tenteram dan gembira, di mana haiwan dan orang hidup secara harmoni. Berbagai inisiatif telah diambilnya untuk menyembahkan tren vegan, termasuk pengedaran risalah hidup alternatif, rantaian restoran vegan antara bangsa Loving Heart, Supreme Master Television, serta sering bercakap dengan ketua kerajaan dan media yang berpengaruh dan menyertai persidangan televisyen tentang perubahan iklim. Sama ada kita sedar akannya atau tidak. Usahanya telah memberikan pengaruh yang besar kepada kesedaran global tentang gaya hidup mesra haiwan dan bagaimana cara beberas kasihan ini dapat membawa keamanan yang berpanjangan dalam kelangan negara sementara menyelamatkan planet kita daripada perubahan iklim dalam tahun-tahun ini Maha Guru Ching Hai telah pergi ke seluruh dunia dari negara-negara Amerika ke Afrika dari Eropa ke Oceania dan memberikan beratus-ratus kuba kepada orang ramai dan anak muridnya tentang pelbagai topik spiritual. Hari ini, kami berbesar hati untuk mempersembahkan salah satu kuba mendalam ini bertajuk Sentiasa Ingat Akan Hubungan Anda Dengan Tuhan Bahagian 2 Siri Berenam Darang Lancangan Antara Guru Dengan Anak Murid diberikan dalam bahasa Inggeris dan Cina pada 12 dan 13 hari bulan Ogos 2013. Oke, okay. 师傅，嗯、呃，我有一个问题，就是这个世界呢，我看都是一个虚假的、虚幻的一个世界，感觉。Yeah. 嗯，那咱们的业障和那个等级，我也觉得是一个虚幻的，不是那么真实。嗯哼。嗯，那我就不知道咱们所说的一界到四界、五界的这个，好像我感觉也不是那么真实。但到底真实的世界是什么样子？真实的自己是谁呢？嗯，那个上帝，你怎么能召唤我们本有的自己？那个上帝。哦呀呀，你这个问题要写两本书、哦。<笑>这个世界就是虚幻的，不过真的世界不是。我们修是修那边那个世界，不是修在这个世界。我们利用这个身体修上去而已。OK， 这个很明白吗？明白。OK， 好 ，Yeah next one。Okay. Uh, first of all, Master, you look gorgeous today. Ah,、oh, thank you. As always, <laughs> amazing. Okay, okay, okay. We're so lucky to have to have such a delightful, beautiful master. Ah, yeah, I like that very much. Yeah, <laughs> the mind loves to hear that. Thank you. What's your question, love? Okay, I have、um, a question and、uh, something to share、mm. about、um, some、uh, remedies、um, to like、uh, common flus and colds. Ah,、uh-huh. you are also another expert here, woman. <laughs> How many more medicine I have to take? <laughs> There is no medicine. But I'm better already.、Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's just basically the、um, the little technique you can do to、mm. clear the、um, uh, all the viruses and bacteria from the body. Uh huh. You know, like large intestine is like kind of the dirtiest part of our body,、mm. and the viruses and、uh, malicious bacteria and microorganisms they're breeding there.、Mm. So once you clean it,、mm. it's you know all the congestion, mucus, mucus from here is all gone. You know, yeah.、Fever. This ancient technique, yogis practiced it. You know, the colon,、uh, the colon cleanse with、yeah. enema. 
yeah, yeah. It only takes like 20 minutes yeah. and it's like works immediate. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Just right like away. Immediate enlightenment. <laughs> immediate. I know. <laughs> immediate my healing. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. 20 yeah. minutes. What to do? Well, you need to have this kit, anima kit, and um, like colonics. Colonics. You go to the clinic to do that, but you can do it on your own. Anima uh-huh. is basically like cleaning this uh-huh. part of yeah, your body. Understand, understand. And you need to have the kit, the water, and that's it. Where and, is the um, kit? You have to buy it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sell them? <laughs> I, I do because I coach people yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. health. Okay. And, um, I heard about that before. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's really working. Like Normally, you do it three days, right? Oh, you can At do least. it like right away whenever you feel like yeah, cold for three coming. days, yeah, to be completely clean. Um, you can do it as a course, but as a kind of like first aid, mm-hmm. whenever you feel like cold coming for, or flu, or you even can buy like them food. in the supermarket. Uh, like a pharmacies. Pharmacy. It's called um, like anima douche or anima bucket something anima. like that. Anima. Anima, like E N E M A. Anima, not animal. <laughs> I was thinking animal dues. <laughs> okay. I have found that taking care of myself is the most difficult part <laughs> of my existence on this planet. I can take care of everybody and if people are sick or something, I know exactly what and give them and they're okay immediately. For me, I often forget. Even I knew already I forget. It's a karma. It has it like that. Uh, for example, for running nose, I remember now, too late now, but before when I was in Sihu, huh, I had the runny nose the first day, and I bought this uh, concoction huh, of like gloves, yeah, anistas, and some little garlics. I have it on the internet somewhere, uh, and ginger, huh, and a little uh, crystal sugar. Immediately I drink that, it's gone. Im- I mean really immediately, after I finish the war. Even that, I forgot all about it. And I let my nose run in for three days, and then I have to go to the office, ask for these pills. <laughs> you know, you can be very busy and forget. Or you can be so much burdened with karma, that even you are living in a pharmacy, you, you would die of some uh, very simple... Uh, common colds, for example. Yes, I find that karma is very difficult to deal with sometimes. <laughs> yeah, uh, in my case, it is difficult. Hmm? I know it's there, I know it's coming, but I don't know when it's going. <laughs> sometimes I know, sometimes I don't, because I'm too busy checking other things, yeah, until it's too late. So then I take medicine like everybody else. And get fat because I had to eat, <laughs> eat a lot. And when when they some other people cook for me, it tastes better than when I cook for myself. Yeah, because nowadays I don't care anymore. I just put anything in there and then uh, absent-mindedly, you know, thinking of the <laughs> karmic immunity or whatever, <laughs> peace for all. <laughs> yeah, and then I just put uh, whatever, you know. Sometimes too salty, sometimes not. So now, um, these few days, because I'm sick, you know, they give me a lot of things, and I really gain weight. And then today, the, the goddess of, of dress coat tell me I have to wear this, I don't know why. <laughs> Just to show me off, I think. <laughs> Look at that, all these, uh, uh, you know, safety belt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to wear something loose. Yeah, I have a lot of them. No, I must wear this one. I don't know what's, what's about it. You find it good? You look incredible. Yeah, yeah why? <laughs> I wish I have a little less safety belt. It would look better, but who cares? But if I have to wear it, I wear it. Yeah? Okay? I don't decide anything anymore. I just do whatever I have to do. Hmm? Even to the, my hair, like I have to style like this today, then I do it. I'm too lazy to keep thinking, okay? So it's easy just to do a schedule, yeah? <laughs> yes, it's easy that way. Uh, if, if I can think about it, you know, if I can concentrate on that. Of course, when I go out, see you, 
Then I would ask, okay, what shall we wear today? And then pick that one, for example. Or sometimes if I am lazy to ask or I'm too busy, I just pick whatever nearby. Yes. And today I have to wear this. I don't understand why. It's not comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, uh, maybe two weeks ago, it wouldn't look nicer, you know? Or a week ago, you know, when they didn't cook so much things for me. <laughs> and so many smoothies together with soup and with extra this and extra that. Oh, man. You can get carried away, you know, <laughs> when it tastes good. Ah, I wish today I wear something better. You know, I mean, loose. But no, I have to wear this. Okay. I guess they want you to laugh at me. Okay. <laughs> For fun. It really suits you. It does? Yeah. You don't know I have to hold my breath in. <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> The beauty secret. <laughs> yeah. And you have to push your chest out, push your stomach in and like that, you know? Otherwise it will it come out. <laughs> Everything will hang out. <laughs> The truth will hang out. <laughs> okay. Any more questions, my love? Yes, yes. Um, if it's possible at all, uh, are there any divine cosmic findings you made mm. so far? I mean, since the last time you shared with us, or if it's possible to share, of course. No, I, I told you, no. It just go deeper and uh, zillions time more than before. Yes. I think whatever I found is all there is we need. Yes. Yes, so many already, a hundred something uh, different divine connections. I hardly keep up with it. I jump from one to another. I mean, the day is only 24 hours and I have 100 plus connections to jump around. <laughs> Oof, I'm telling you. Yes. Uh, Sometimes I, I also sleep. I didn't even know I sleep <laughs> until I wake up. Oops! <laughs> I'm on the floor. <laughs> flat. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how when you meditate, even if you fell down from the bed or from the chair, you not hurt yourself, nothing. I wonder why. <laughs> Have you experienced that? Huh? Like you are cushioned somehow, you know. I mean, for her it's easy, but for me, not always. <laughs> for you, it's okay, yeah? If you fell down, you have cushion, yeah? I have cushion, but thin, thin cushion. <laughs> A little bit here, but not there. Oh, well, okay. Uh, yes, I will always have to meditate on those I have found, because they are different qualities. You see what I mean? Yeah. I told you already some of that, yeah? Mostly uh, concentrate on peace, yeah, and loving for the world, regain love for the world. And for the youth, uh, youth quell or youth producing or youth eternal, or, uh, life producing or life eternal, all that, I have hardly time. Because uh, I don't know if I should look young forever, number one. Number two, I have no time for many other more important things. And number three, I don't want to have life eternal here. <laughs> Understand? Yeah, it's nice here. Okay, I have everything I need as far as physical comfort is concerned. But I don't think it's my home. My home is better, yeah? And we all like to go back home. This world is not for us. We just uh, temporarily stay, yeah? Yes. And sometimes I don't feel like staying really, truly. Not because I'm depressed or anything, but sometimes the pain is in, uh, how you say, unbearable. When you see people suffering, just even what TV or animals agonizing, the way they are treated, or the people who suffer so much, losing family members, losing their arms and legs, and nobody take care of them because it's too many and people who have no food, no drink, in the refugee camps, or walk miles to get just a cup of water. Oh, it's just the pain sometimes is so unbearable. And even some people protesting on the street, you know, and then the police is so unkind to them, you know, spray pepper and direct on their face and all that, terrible. Or people are force fed, you know, tie on the chair, Oh, the pain to me is so unbearable. Or oh, the wild animal, the poachers come and 
kill them mercilessly or chop them into pieces and let them die. Oh, that's terrible for me sometimes. I thought I cannot stay longer in this world, not one more second. Just too painful for me to have to know and see all this. Between humans and humans, between the same brother and sister of the same faith, you understand? Of the same faith, like the Muslim to the Muslim, and sometimes the Christian to the Christians, and the human to animals, and oh, and human to humans. Oh, it's terrible. Sometimes I thought, my God, please, I just want to go home. But of course, I know if I go, it would be worse for for other for other the rest. So I just had to stay. But oh, sometimes so difficult, so difficult. Are terrible. It is an illusional world, but when we have the flesh and the mind here, it feels very real. It hurts. Yeah? It hurts emotionally, physically, mentally, psychologically, all kind of, of pain that I feel every day. And I'm not always able to shut, shut it, close it. Yes? Because I have to watch TV so that I can help somewhere sometimes. If disaster somewhere, I have to help. Or help some animals organization to rescue the animals and all that. I have to watch every day. And you can't just screen out good news. Mostly our bad news. Or even talk about that. I have pain here in the neck. So when people say, you give me pain in the neck, it's true like that. It's a pain in the neck. It really is physical. And, and sometimes I just roll on the floor in agony because I feel how they feel. This is a terrifying world, what we live in. And people still do not wake up. They keep killing and snatching and taking whatever they can, uh, regardless of the consequences or the pain that caused to others. Therefore, don't keep asking me, what now, Master, the planet is saved and you bought the power here already so we don't have to do anything. You're wrong. We still have to continue to meditate, to share some of our good energy to balance this uh, negative force on this planet and also have to, you know, do it so that we can influence other good in good way and then spread the news so that they may be also awakened like you are, hey? The job is not done, okay? We just save the planet, the world, so that people have more chance to continue, so that they can have a chance to wake up. But our job is just beginning, yeah? It's always beginning. Until this world turns into paradise and peaceful everywhere, our job is not done, okay? Until the animals are free from suffering and respected, as an individual beings from God, our job is not done. There are people who are still oppressed because they are poor, because they are black, because they are a different color, or because they are disabled, or, or because they are gay, or because they are lesbian, or because they are bisexual. Until they are free, until all of them are equally treated with respect and love, our job is not done. Okay? So don't think, okay, master. And some of the guys, the Vietnamese guy, oh, don't worry, they tell each other, oh, don't worry, our master is very rich. You know, I mean, he means spiritually. <laughs> she just like Bill Gates, spiritually. So we just uh, practice, you know, relaxingly, and she has a lot, so you share some with us. <laughs> it's not about you. Ah, understand? It's about your brothers, your sister, your five generations, your ten generations, your neighbors. Hmm? You're less privileged and less lucky people on this planet, yes? The refugees, the, the orphans, the elderly, nobody take care, the victim of disasters, of war, of oppression, yes? Of uh, controlled, no freedom. For them, you have to meditate also, hmm? not just for you. You, of course, you feel safe and, 
and good and ah, every time, master this, do this, master do that. <laughs> it's not about you, okay, guys? Wake up, look around. People still suffer, animals still suffer, and the worlds are not equal, are not right. So don't think your job is done, eh? Okay? You have more power now, so you have to work more. Hmm? All right? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. For your love. No more, huh? I'm going upstairs to see new people, and then I come downstairs. <laughs> And then we recite the five names, and then I go out recite the five names, and then we meditate together, and I see some special group, for example, yeah? How many new Westerners come today? I mean, non-Asian. Raise hand. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe when I have time, I'll invite you to my kitchen, eh? I have some goodies, food. Because <laughs> Westerners, they don't have a lot of food. Yeah, not really. Just big as cheese. Huh? <laughs> Vegan sausage, right? Vegan hot dog, hot dog. I don't know why the dog is hot. Hello. Hola. 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 Penonton-penonton yang dihormati, kami menghargai kehadiran anda untuk episod hari ini berjodoh sentiasa ingat akan hubungan anda dengan Tuhan bahagian dua siri berenam dalam rancangan antara guru dengan anak murid. Teruslah bersama Supreme Master Tari Bison untuk lebih banyak rancangan positif. Seterusnya ialah dari Tao Te Ching ke Jalan Orang Suci Temu Ramah Encik Su Yuita bahagian satu siri berdua dalam rancangan kata-kata bijasana Semoga syurga menggunai anda dengan kemegahan spiritual May the heavenly realms endow you with spiritual splendor For more details Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.